That that is. I was just on the corner of 125th Street listening to the Hebrew Israelites talking about the most high. The most high. Ain't no fucking most high up there. Ain't no God up there. Ain't no Jesus up there. See that? But you got to realize that in America, in a capitalistic society, nothing is free. Nothing is free in America. That's why, you know, the power structure give black people religion. Because if religion really helped black people, if the Bible really helped black people, that shit would be kept behind, that shit would be kept behind a, a gated fence with security guards. And you would need a license to carry one. You would need a license to carry a Bible if this shit really helped black people. You know what I'm saying? But that shit is not meant to help you. It's meant, to, it's meant for you to sit on your ass and wait. To sit on your ass and wait. That's why them Hebrew Israelites been on the corner preaching the same shit for the last 20 years and the Most High ain't got back yet. The Most High has not got back here yet. Harlem is being gentrified right under our feet and we still waiting for the Most High. Religion is bullshit. Like I said before, if the Bible really helped black people, you would need a license to get that shit. And the thing about it is, like, people be on the, like, them guys, every Sunday, every weekend, when it's nice and, when it's pretty and the weather's nice, they be out there preaching about how the white man is a devil and shit like that. But you gotta realize that all these black revolutionary groups in some shape or form, if they're Muslims, if they're Jewish, all black revolutionary groups were founded and funded in some way, shape, or form by white people. And they do that to find out who the black troublemakers are in the community. That's why when the Nation of Islam followed Elijah Muhammad's program, but the minute, and they had businesses and everything flourishing, but the minute somebody like Malcolm X stood up, they weeded him out, and then the group, and the group continues. When Khaled Muhammad stood up, stood up, they weeded him out, and the group continues. You know, anytime you get a black revolutionary that's going to get the people to listen to him, they're going to weed him out, and the group is going to continue. All these black revolutionary groups are funded and founded by white people to find out who the black troublemakers are in the community, and that way they can keep tabs on them. That's real talk. Trust me. All right, y'all, I'm out. Check out my poetry online. It's called Corner Stores in the Middle of the Block. Peace. What's up, everybody? These are my two books that self-published. Why don't you use your cash app and get a few copies? Or if you'd like to know more, just inbox me, all right? Later.